okay so today we're gonna learn sheetli and sheetkavi pranayam शीतली एंड शीतकारी प्रणायाम वे गन दीज टू प्रणायाम टूडे ओके सो दर्ड शीतल दिस इज शीतल ओके सो द वर्ड शीतल मीन्स इन इंग्लिश इफ विल ट्रांसलेटेड इट विल बी कूलनेस शीतल मीन्स कूलनेस ओके एंड शीतकारी ऑल्सो मीन्स कूलनेस सो एज वी नो these both uh, represent the coolness then it means whenever we do this type uh, these two pranayams our body will um, go towards the coolness and lower the temperature of the body so let's talk about first of all the precautions for this pranayam okay so precautions do not avoid in winters because in winters our body is already cold so we don't want to cool our body more if you have any respiratory problems avoid it avoid this pranayam if you have any respiratory problems low blood pressure if a person is having a low blood pressure we don't want to cool their body more down because it will it, it will gonna make the low blood pressure more worse so at the time of low blood pressure avoid doing sheetli or sheetkari pranayam okay our respiratory problems if we like uh, elaborate it more it it means like if you have asthma bronchitis in that type of situations avoid this pranayam okay so now we'll talk about the uh, technique of this pranayam and then we'll move forward to the precautions first we'll see how it will affect in our body if we'll do it so right now i can see uh, i can feel that there's uh, not much hot no not much cold so we can try this pranayam right now but early in the morning especially in winters do not do it in summers you can go for it do not do it for much it's enough for 5 to 7 times after doing 5 to 7 times 5 uh, to 7 minutes you will feel that your body is becoming cool so it's enough do not do more than that okay so first of all sit in any comfortable position and gently close your eyes take a deep breath in and deep breath out we'll chant one time om all together take a deep inhale om join your both palms together rub your both palm apply to your eyes to your face to your whole body while blinking open your eyes om shanti okay so first we are going to try this sheetli pranayam these both the pranayam are same just one difference that i'll going to be tell you later that what's the difference between the these two pranayam so in sheetli pranayam so we will try to make a tube from our tongue like a pipe okay so bring your tongue out and then fold it from left and right like this if it is possible for you make to make tube okay yeah that's why, that, that's why there is you know the second one pranayam is there but first i'll tell you the sheetli 
So you have to roll your tongue from left to right, try to close your teeth and make a tube and then push it out. It's like, it's like some people can do it, some people cannot do it. Okay, it, it's, it's like I cannot teach you this thing, I am just, uh, my body can do it or my tongue can do it. So it's not like I practice it something or like it's have a particular practice, nothing like this. That's why they have made, you know, uh, the second type of pranayam that is Shitkari. So what you have to do if you're going to teach to someone or if you wanted to know, so you have to inhale from that tube. So when you inhale, you can feel the coolness that is going towards your throat, towards your windpipe to till your lungs. So it is sending the cool air to the lungs. That's why it brings coolness to your body. And when you exhale, close your mouth and then exhale from your nose. Again, make a tube of your tongue. Okay, so this is Sheetali Pranayam. Now talk about, let's talk about Sheetkari. How we can do Sheetkari? Some people have trouble making the tube from their mouth. So what they have to do? They have to press their teeth into each other like this. Yes. Inhale the air from middle, the gap between your teeth and then close your mouth and exhale from your nose. You can feel the coolness going through your windpipe, your throat, to your body. So these are the only difference between Sheetali and the Sheetkari Pranayam. If you want, you can, if you can do both, you can do both. If you have, have, have having a hard time making a tube from your ma, uh, tongue, then people who have hard time with the tube, they can try the Sheetkari Pranayam. Both have, will give you the same benefits. But in this, uh, you have to make sure that you don't have to, like if, you're, if your teeth is very sensitive, your gum is sensitive, what will happen? It will give you the sensation, you know, the sensation. So, uh, it is good for also your, for your gum and for your teeth. But if you are already suffering from that sensitive issues, so then it's going to be hard to do that like this. Sometimes it feels like when we drink the hot and cold, we feel that sensation. So if someone is already that much sensitive, then they are having trouble in inhaling the air inside. So at that time, you have to be careful. Otherwise, it's same precautions for both of it. Now let's talk about the benefits. So what happened when we are in a like wind, uh, summers, our body gets really uh, like hot, our body temperature rises. So we feel very irritation or something. So at that time, in summers, we can try this Sheetali or Sheetkari Pranayam for cooling down our body. It will help in reducing the anxiety and stress and irritation from your body. When our temp body temperature rises, we just irritate, we get irritated sometimes. And when we are like in a stress situation also, we can try this. Or if we are suffering from any anxiety attacks, at that time also it is very good to practice this Sheetali or Sheetkari Pranayam. Uh, if you have very short temper or the anger issues, that is also caused by the 
heat in your body. So if you have very short temper or the anger issues, you can try this Sheetali Sheetkari Pranayam. It will give you really amazing benefit. It is good for your acid reflexes. If you are having acid reflexes or you have indigestion problem, you can try this. It helps in better sleep or it also helps in insomnia. You can practice this 5 to 7 minutes early in the morning, empty stomach. So now let's practice it for 5 to 7 minutes. Both of any of them you can try. I can see you cannot do Sheetali. So go for Sheetkari. your back neck straight we can use internal attention in this while inhaling we can hold our breath inside and then we can exhale it from our nose so will it improve all you know benefits from it increase the benefits more by the retention okay so inhale close your mouth hold your breath inside And exhale. Inhale. Close your mouth. Hold your breath inside. And then exhale. In ancient time, uh, ancient Rishi Munis or the we can say ancient yogis who sits for a meditation for like for days and days. So how they control their thirst? So they do this two pranayam, Shitali and Shitkari. It is very good for controlling your thrust and helps in keeping your body hydrated. So in the dehydration, at the time of dehydration also, you can perform this pranayam for keeping the, your body hydrated or controlling your th thrust. At the time of low BP, we will not do it as you can see. So be careful while teaching or while doing. Precautions are very important. But in hypertension, or a high BP, you can always try it.
not extend it just do for five minutes in that five minutes take rest do it five times and then just relax again take a rest and again start for the five minutes you can keep doing like this If you have done this for five minutes, now you can normalize your breath. <coughs> now we'll do the Surya Bhedi because we have done the cooling pranayam. Let's make our body temperature normal. So now we can go for five cycles of the Surya Bhedi pranayam. It will bring our body temperature back to the normal. Make Pranam Mudra with your right hand, your first finger and your middle finger down. Open your pinky finger and your middle finger, sorry, in your ring finger. Your thumb should be open. Exhale. Close your left nostril and inhale from right. Close your right nostril, inhale from left. Inhale from left, sorry, 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 inhale from right again, exhale from left, close your left again, inhale from right, exhale from left, keep inhaling from right and exhaling from left, do not inhale from your left nostril. If you complete it and then just relax. Now we can try the Anuloma Viloma Pranaya. Let's practice Anuloma Viloma. Again, same with your right hand, Pranamutra. Now close your right nostril, first exhale. Close your right nostril, inhale from your left nostril. 
exhale from the right nostril inhale from your right nostril exhale from your left nostril inhale from left exhale from right inhale from right exhale from left keep doing it alternative nostril breathing